are doing a question video. I asked some questions on Instagram and we got like 28 of them. So we're going to answer them today. Some of them are kind of the same. We're going to answer all of them. I think that there was only two that were like the exact same question. I'm Brooke, for those of you who don't know me, and this is Derek, my amazing fiance, and we have hot chocolate and tea. Question number one, what kind of music do you like? You go first. Drum and bass. Drum and bass, drum and bass. There you go. My favorite Warcraft soundtrack music. That's pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much all I listen to. No, I also like, um, like old grunge music and stuff, like Alice in Chains and mm -hmm. and uh, all kinds of random stuff. Mm -hmm. He's pretty cool. I like metal. Yeah, this guy has pretty good music taste. I like like Marianas Trench and like Lights and uh, Say We Can Fly, but I don't really listen to like. She doesn't have genres. She likes specific bands. Yeah, I like specific bands. I like Dorian Electra. I like like it's just specific little things, but I mostly just listen to Warcraft soundtrack. And I mostly listen to drum and bass. Yeah. Pretty much, pretty yeah. much eighty percent of the time. Next question: Who y'all were before WoW? I was a loser. I had no friends, and I didn't know I was emo yet. I was an EverQuest player. Pretty much it. Since I was a little tiny kid. Mm -hmm. Before that, I was a StarCraft player. I like Neopets before WoW. I've pretty much just played MMOs my whole life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh. This guy's been full nerd. I had to like get there. Oh, I played Pokemon cards when what I was are really you little. Poking at. I would, I would go to Toys R Us and play with all the kids. We would win badges and stuff and fight little gym trainers. Mm -hmm. but they were really yeah. just people that worked at Toys R Us. Yeah. And we'd win badges and stuff. I didn't really get to get into video games for a while because my parents were like, just really Christian and just kind of like stopped us from doing that. Mm -hmm. So that's why, I, yeah, I didn't start playing WoW till I was 10 years old. But it's been great ever since then. What are your plans as a couple in WoW when Shadowlands hits? Streaming. Streaming. Pretty much. We've been streaming on Twitch like non-stop, so when Shadowlands hits, that's going to be like a big, yep. big thing for us. We're probably going to level our mains first, probably like our hunters, and then we might level something else and maybe make them our new mains if we're not really sure, but I do, I always level my hunter first, so that's mm -hmm. what I want to do first. Wait, and I'm excited for the lore and Sylvanas' story and, and new cinematics. The lore. I love the lore so much. Okay, so these next two questions are kind of, I guess we can answer them together. Um, it's, what is your favorite movie to watch together? And also, do you both have a current favorite TV show or movie? I think that we can both agree that... That we like to watch The Room. The Room. Just The Room. Like, <laughs> I knew that when I was writing that down. I was like, I think we can both I agree like on that. We also Just both like to watch Lord of the Rings mm -hmm. and the Merlin TV and series. Merlin's been like our favorite. We've just also watched Breaking Bad like a few months ago and Stranger Things, but... Merlin, I would have to say, is my favorite show that we've mm -hmm. like ever watched together. We're still finishing the last season, and it's just really, really good. But The Room, the definitely room. just the best. In any ever. comedies. If you can find us a comedy, we'll watch it yeah, all day. Exactly. So what zodiac sign do you both have? Um, so I am a Pisces, and Derek is... I'm a Virgo. A Virgo. And we have looked into it a little bit, and other people have like looked into it for us and said that that's a really good match, mm -hmm. apparently. So... But I don't overly look into that kind of stuff, but I mean, if it says that it's good, then that's cool. Um, okay, this was the question where we had like two of the exact same question. It's just basically, what are your other hobbies besides WoW? Um, I would say like cats. It's a big cats. <laughs> just cats. Mm -hmm. um, she loves cats. I love cats. Uh, I love makeup stuff. We like to do YouTube and Twitch, which is like kind of the way of WoW. Twitch mm -hmm. definitely is, but... Uh, he likes art. Yeah, and stuff. I like art. I make digital art. I also mm -hmm. like to do embroidery and I like to make jewelry and I like to go digging for rocks and stuff. Yeah, this guy's very adventurous and he's very artistic. Mm -hmm. and he's very good at everything that he does. <sighs> That's true. And I like makeup. I guess, like, outside of like just a thing that I like on my own is like makeup and Kelstar. Kelstar's a hobby. <laughs> Kelstar. Not a question, but I love your style and I think you're an amazing person with beautiful hair. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, his hair is so <laughs> nice. I like, I like your hair. And I like your hair. I think they're talking about you. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just being silly. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Is there a shop slash restaurant in Canada that you wish was in the USA or vice versa? Tim Hortons. As a Canadian, 100% Tim Hortons. Like, I'm so sad I can't have my Earl Grey tea. Typical. And Timbits, and just ice caps, like it's so good. I tried showing her some off-brand Timbits. Oh, no. She was Donut like, no, holes, thanks. like no, that's not. It's Timbits, okay? 
and I miss Tim Hortons a lot, and that's the one thing I wish was here. And something that is here that I wish was there would probably be, like, Panda Express. But, like, we do have it in Canada, but it's not, like, a very common thing. Mm -hmm. And I love it. Like, I don't have any one, like, it's, like, maybe an hour and a half drive to go to one, so. Hold on. These are another two questions. It's not the exact same questions, but I thought that we could kind of group them together, so that's why I put, like, a little arrow mm -hmm. from number 10 to 16. Um, so the one question is, do you guys live together? How's it going? By the way, your goals. Thank you. Um, so we don't live together right now. I am visiting for five months. We are in the middle of the visa process, waiting for that to go through and mm -hmm. everything. So, yeah, it's going good. Our visit is going well, but we don't live together. But this is a very good way to, like, experience living together and everything. Um, and the other question that kind of goes along with that is, when are you going to move and live together permanently? And that's literally just whenever the visa yeah, stuff Yeah, whenever the through. visa stuff happens. Yeah, so we're just It's kinda, really slowed down with the pandemic right now. Yeah, like, if the pandemic never happened, it would have already gone through back in, like, mm -hmm. August, and I would have already been actually living here, because we applied for the K-1 visa back in January, and it's only supposed to take, like, what, like, six to nine months or something? Mm -hmm. So it should have already happened, and at this point, like, it's already, like, it's going beyond that, and there's no end in sight, so yep. we don't really know. It could be early next year, it could be the end of next year, we don't know. Mm. This is a me question, again. Uh, how long does it take to do your makeup and what products do you use? Doing my makeup itself, I would say like 45 minutes a day? Is that the kind of a To an hour. Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. She does I a can, lot of messing around. Yeah, if I like just had to do it quickly and like it, it wasn't like, pretty much every day when I do my makeup, if I'm not being rushed, I'm always like kind of experimenting and like, oh, I don't like that, I'm gonna change it, blah, blah, blah. But if I actually had somewhere to, like, be, I would just do my normal makeup and be mm -hmm. done in, like, 20 minutes. But I'm always like, I don't like this, blah, blah, blah. Um, my favorite makeup products to use, I use a lot of, like, NYX and Maybelline, Urban Decay, Jeffree Star. Like, all of my eyeshadow palettes are Jeffree Star, and foundation is Maybelline, and then just NYX. And Essence is another brand, which is a Canadian brand that's very cheap, and I use their eyeliner and mascara. So those are pretty much all of my makeup. Yeah, I've sipped it a million times. Is that bad in the video? Mm -mm. I'm talking the whole time, so I'm like... Mm. Next question. Do you remember the first time you played WoW? Any cool or fun funny memories, if so? Uh, mine, I don't remember. I thought it was really easy because I came from EverQuest, so I was all like, mm -hmm. what is this garbage? Mm -hmm. But then I, it grew on me, and I was like, yeah. okay, this is pretty cool. Exactly. Uh, I have, like, two kind of, like, memories. There's, like... So my brother used to play WoW, and I had, like, no idea what it was, and one day he, like, left it up on his computer, and I was probably, like, nine, almost ten, and, like, he had his character, and for some reason he had the camera from, like, a bird's eye view angle, I don't know why, but I went on his computer, and I was running around, and I was very confused, and, like, he was in the human starting zone, and, like, a Tobias guy killed me, and I was just confused because it was a bird's eye view angle, and I was like, this is so stupid, why would you play this game? Oh, wow. And then it was, like... I think two months later, he showed me the trailer for World of Warcraft, where the night elf girl turns into a cat, and then I was like, oh my god. I have to play this. I was like, I have to play this game. I was like, even though I didn't like that 30-second mm -hmm. experience I had that one time, I was like, I need to try it. And I remember making a night elf druid and being so excited, but then I was really angry that you couldn't be a cat. Like, oh. I was questing in every level, I was like, why can't I be a cat yet? Uh -huh. Why can't I be a cat yet? And then I was getting up to, like, level 7, level 8, level 9, and I was like, I still can't be a cat. And then at level 10, you can be a bear. And I was so excited because I was like, this is going to be my cat form, and then it was a bear. And I was like, no, I still can't. Uh -huh. And then finally I got to level 20 and got the cat form, and I was really excited, and I was, yeah. like, 10 years old. A lot of build-up for that. You yeah. were probably hella excited. I was hella mad, and, like... At the time, my brother didn't even know a lot about WoW, so he didn't even know. Mm -hmm. He was like, I don't know when you get the cat form, but I was like, I just want to be a cat. That's funny. And that, then I was like, so that was my Yeah, that's a funny. good one. That was my kind of funny experience. All right, Next okay. question. Okay. This is kind of another two-in-one where it's not like the exact same, but it's kind of the same. Mm -hmm. The question is, are you going to make a vlog like filming some cute trip slash date? And then the other one is, can you please vlog together or at least do a week in our life kind of video? So we definitely do want to do yeah, that. Yeah, we want to start doing it. I just suck on camera, uh -huh. so we've got to get me used to it. Yeah, yeah, and I definitely, like, really, really want to, and I'm trying to get him better with doing yeah, videos. Yeah, because I, I look way too intense when I'm looking uh -huh. at the camera. He's always, like, staring into your soul, <laughs> which is perfect because his name is Soul, in, <laughs> from, like, our stream, uh, mm -hmm. Shadow and Soul. 
kind of deal. But um, yeah, I'm trying to. I figured a Q and A video would be like a good one to just kind of like sit and answer questions. Mm -hmm. But I really want to do vlog videos. Yeah, like, me I'd too. I'd love to be like, this is what we do waking up. This is us making breakfast and tea mm -hmm. and getting ready to stream and make videos and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we will definitely do a lot of vlogs in the future. Like we pretty much want to make like YouTube and Twitch our lives. So you will see. A lot of videos and we'll of give us. you You'll see oh yeah we're gonna see a lot of us like everything that you have ever wondered you're gonna know because we're gonna be filming a lot of mm -hmm. stuff next question how old are you both i am 24 and i turned 25 uh march 17th and i'm 33 i just turned 33. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when's your birthday september 11th september 11th 9 11 for him and saint patrick's day for me do you want to have children no we do not uh -uh. we are thank god on the exact same page we just both want cats. Yeah, we want lots of cats. Don't want kids. Not interested. That was like a big thing. Like when I met Derek, like I knew that like he was my soulmate pretty much right at the start. Mm -hmm. But I did have to say like one big thing is like I don't want kids. Like that's a deal breaker for me. And he was like, me either. So we were mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, I was afraid to say something to her. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of I was of like, I don't do. want to tell her I don't want kids. And then she's like, oh, I'm going to have to find someone else who yeah, does. Yeah, And then when she said she doesn't, I was all like, oh, hell. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. We just want to play wild and have cats mm -hmm. and just spend time together. We're, like, really big into, like, love and stuff. And, like, I feel like having a kid would just, like, interfere with our time together. Yeah, I mean, it does, like, com connect you some to have a kid. But at the same time, it's a nightmare. And I don't yeah. want that nightmare right uh, now. Uh, no, or ever. <laughs> <laughs> or ever. <laughs> question is only fans maybe one day maybe one day we're we're not sure yet but it's it's not completely crossed off from the list but yeah. you'll we'll let you know it's a perhaps it's a perhaps yeah um talk about if there's cost slash requirements and the time it takes to move international and how the process went for you two i feel like that's a big like you i feel like he's a lot better at like explaining stuff what is it like like basically the whole process and how expensive it was and how long it's yeah, it's a long process. Mm -hmm. We had to apply to the uh, actual what is it called? embassy, or no, see, there's so many parts. There's so many there's terms. So many there's like parts. the embassy. There's like the MVC. There's like there's the other part. There's all these things. So you oh, we have know. to sign up for immigration services. Yeah. 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 UCIS. Something UCSIS. like that. There's a lot of terms, and he yeah, it's been a long knows time. a lot more. We haven't. We haven't. It's been completely halted since. March. Yeah, pretty much. And even so I'm gonna have to that, get back on it when I go to do it all again because yeah. I don't remember anything. But yeah. we had to fill out uh, a petition to have her come here, yeah. and then it got sent to the visa center. Yep. And then it got sent to, or it's supposed to get sent to the embassy, but we're stuck in that phase right now. Yeah. And that was it was approved back in June, which is when it should have been going to the embassy, mm -hmm. and now it's just been like nothing. But in if it wasn't on hold because of COVID, it would have been like two weeks. Yeah. So it, it all should have happened a long time ago, but everything's just Yeah, she should have been here a long time ago. Yeah. It's, it's kind of pricey, too. It's about, yeah. like, 500 for the one, for the petition, and then yeah. it's, like, a 1000 once she gets here, and we file for all yeah. the stuff. Yeah, and then just, like, all of our visits and stuff are obviously expensive with, like, plane tickets mm -hmm. and, like, me taking time off work and, like... It's so kind of pricey, but it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Like, that's what you do when you're, like, super in love. You make it work. Um, money's not from doing it when you're in love. Did you have to quit your job to stay with him for so long? So that's kind of leading on from that question. And yes, I did. Um, but luckily my employer is willing to like take me back if I do come back. It mm -hmm. kind of all depends. Like this long visit is kind of a way of us getting to spend a lot of time together and also hoping that things are going to go through while I'm here. So the goal that we're hoping for is that maybe by like February, because I'm staying till March, like maybe they'll be like, hey, like, you can come back to Canada and do, well, not come back to Canada, they don't really know I'm here, but they might be like, you can come do your interview now, and then hopefully I can just go home, do my interview, get my visa, and just come right back. Mm -hmm. But if things are still on hold, I can just go back to Canada and return to my job. But I don't really want to, because... Yeah, we both goal... have a decent little amount saved up so that we mm -hmm. can do all this. And yep. Yeah, we don't... We worked hard all year to save up. And... Yeah, yeah, it's not like we're just, like, rich or something. Like, yeah, we're not, no, we... we... I work retail, and I had to hella save money to make this possible, and yeah, luckily... Yeah, I do concrete. I'm still working right now for yeah, the most part. Yeah, luckily I don't have to, like, pay rent uh, anymore at my parents' house. Like, my dad said it's okay to not mm -hmm. have to, so... Yeah, we're making it work. 
What's your favorite class for PVP? How are you? And you are gorgeous. Thank you. We are good. We're doing good. Mm -hmm. um, favorite class for PVP? I would say Shadow Priest, Shadow or, Priest. or Rogues. But yeah. I think I like Shadow Priest better because you can heal. And just being a mm -hmm. caster is kind of nice. Yeah, Shadow Priest is fun. And being undead and having the Will of the Forsaken mm -hmm. is very, very nice. Oh, but is this classic or retail? I know. I I feel like probably they want to know both. But definitely classic, I would say Shadow Priest. Yeah, I think Shadow Priest for both for me. Yeah. Retail and classic. Yeah. See, I don't have a lot of experience with PvP on retail, I feel like. Yeah. But in a way, I feel like I'd want to say 100 just because I'm more familiar with that on retail. Um, but probably rogues are the PvP gods. Yeah, hunters are good in big battlefields, too. Yeah. Next question. Are you moving to the U.S. or is Derek moving to Canada and why? So I'm going to be moving here because I just want to, like, as someone who's very, like, anxiety-ridden, has, like, uh insecurities like I've never really done anything with my life I've always just felt like I need to stay close to my parents because I'm afraid of the world and having such an amazing partner who like wants to take care of me I'm like oh I could actually like get out of my shell and like go somewhere different mm -hmm. and kind of just experience the world for a little bit and I've always wanted to come to the U.S. so I think that I definitely do want to move here like that's what we're doing mm -hmm. and like I know that it's the right thing um but in in the future he will move yeah, well. yeah, we'll kind of be back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just thought it would be good to, like, from the start, come here, because, like, he's the one who, like, will be taking care of me, mm -hmm. because he's better at adulting than I am, and oh. it's older, more experienced. I would hate to bring him to Canada, and then for me to be like, well, I don't know how to get a place or how to drive, and, like, <laughs> hopefully you can figure it out, even though this is all new to you, so... I just felt like this was the right thing to do, so we're working on me moving here. We're going to figure it out no matter where we Exactly, go. exactly. It doesn't matter where we are. We do everything as a team. Yeah, exactly. As long as we're together, I am going to be happy. What are your plans for the future? That's kind of similar. I would say, like, our main plans is, like, just streaming on Twitch and doing YouTube. Yeah, and we want to stream on Twitch, do YouTube, and eventually get into our own place and mm -hmm. maybe travel around some. Uh-huh, and we also want to breed Maine Coon. And just yeah. have a lot of cats in general. Everyone have a lot of cats. Yeah, but I think breeding Maine Coons would be really, really fun. I've never had a Maine Coon, but Derek has, and yeah, he says that they're really it's great. Yeah, my favorite cat. So it would be really, really cool to do that. How did you manage to get such a sexy ass? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> this was, was this me. was him, but huh. I had to put it in the video. So are you gonna give the answer? I, I don't know. My parents? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like it just. It's the best, I, best question. I, it's not even that great, but thank you. Okay, uh, hello, this isn't a question. This is just a reminder that I love you, and I'm so happy for you guys. And that is from Moon, uh, Salise, my friend, who always, she's been like my best friend, long distance friend for like four years now, maybe even a little longer. Mm -hmm. And I haven't met her in person yet, but like when I do officially like move here, um, Derek's gonna have to drive me down to yeah, see her. Yeah, I'm gonna her. take her to the Oregon coast and we will visit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm very, very, very excited to one day meet you because I've known you for so long and we've played a lot of WoW and Heroes together and stuff. So mm -hmm. thank you. <clears throat> As a Sylvanas loyalist, what do you think of Talia Minneville? I hate her <laughs> so much. Like, I went on a rant about this on Twitch, but like, basically, I think that there's something going on with Talia and how when they revived her from death, and her voice was all like echoey and like benevolent. Is that a word? And I think that ANR has like either possessed her body or has something to do with it. And I don't trust or like ANR. And I feel like something seems weird that like she really wants to try to help like the Forsaken like night elves and stuff. And I just I don't trust it. And I don't want to know. Like I mean, I do want to know what happens, but I think it's not going to be good. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of Tally. Burning Crusades was the best expansion, don't you agree? And I fully agree. Oh, yeah. No, that, that, was, was that was the best. my favorite. I, I remember... Think most people agree that was probably the mm -hmm. best. Yep, I agree. A lot of people say Wrath. Well, a lot of people that don't think it was the best are usually ones that either hella love Arthas mm -hmm. or weren't really... didn't start in vanilla. Yeah, I but agree. But there are yeah. some people out there that like it. Yeah, yeah. I definitely... I just thought it was the best. The Ice Crown stuff was pretty cool. It was. It was really cool. I think for me, like a big thing, like I was so young, I was like I think 12 years old when the CC came out, and it was just so like exciting that it was like the first expansion, and I was like, oh my god, like they're adding flying, and mm -hmm. we're going to a new world, like this is so crazy that there's just a lot of like excitement and nostalgia behind mm -hmm. it, and they brought out Blood Elves, and it's just kind of been like the main thing that like really got me hooked into WoW, and it was just so much fun. 
I like frost worms, so that's my biggest thing with wrath. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Favorite frost favorite. worms are probably my favorite enemy mm-hmm. in WoW. Mm-hmm. Yep. My yep. favorite mob. For sure. They're very, Warcraft. very cool. Yeah, I definitely like wrath. And at that point, I was starting to get a little older and starting to understand the game more. But, like, if I could go back and if I could have been older when D3 came out, I think I would have loved it that much more, yeah. too. So, I, I fully agree. So, last question. What brand of hair dye is your favorite? Always admiring your hair. Well, thank you. I use um, Arctic Fox the most. This is Arctic Fox Purple Rain. And um, I slightly diluted it with some, like, water. And I just, I dye my hair very weirdly. I basically put it in a bowl and fill it. It's, like, some hair dye. And then it's water. And I kind of, like just dip my head into the like dye water does that make any sense (laughs) but uh yeah so it's kind of like dip dye but I do it for like my whole head and I just find it a lot easier than having to like brush it on to all of my hair but arctic fox and manic panic would be my favorites I would have to say so yeah that's all the questions so that's a lot of questions I know yeah but I hope that you guys enjoyed our little video of us just hanging out and drinking tea and being awkward and answering your silly fun questions and uh I guess that's it. Yeah, the tea is gone. Tea is gone. I'm almost done my hot chocolate, so I think we're done. (laughs) So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Bye, bye. See ya. (laughs)